Well, hello, and welcome to this round of reacting to iconic movie makeovers. I am so excited for this video because some of these movies I grew up loving and watching repeatedly over and over and over again. And we have a couple that I've actually never seen before. So I will be blind reacting to those makeover scenes and I cannot wait, okay? I cannot wait to go in there and rewatch these makeover scenes specifically and see like what, what is really going on here with this transformation. By the way, if you are new to my channel, in my face. My name is Ashley Ellick. So nice to meet you. I am a beauty lover, a beauty junkie, all things makeup, hair, everything. But not only that, I have about 15 plus years experience in the beauty industry as a beauty professional. I am a licensed cosmetologist and I worked behind the chair for a great many of years, as well as in front of people's faces, applying makeup for like bridal and things like that. It doesn't stop there though. I actually worked at a beauty boutique for many years as a manager. So I have a lot of experience with beauty products too. So I've, I've been in the beauty industry in one way or another for 15 plus years. Now I'm here on the tube. I love creating beauty content for you guys to consume and to watch. I also am over on Instagram and TikTok. If you want kind of more silly, lighthearted makeup things like makeup memes, you can follow me there at Ashley Ellix. Subscribe to me here on the tube if you want to see more videos like this, reacting to different makeovers and things. But I want to get into this video today. So go grab yourself a cup of coffee, go grab yourself something to eat, and let's go react to these videos because I cannot wait anymore. And let's go. Boop. Okay, we're gonna get started. And I feel like I'm the last Apple user in the world to not have Apple AirPods, but I, I like my Beats by Dre, okay? I still have these. And I also think I'm gonna lose the, uh, oh, I have baby music on, hang on. Anyways, um, I, uh, so this isn't gonna be like the chicest look. I'm gonna do a little DJ. I'm gonna pretend to be a DJ right now. One day maybe I'll get Apple AirPods, but I'm straight up afraid I'm gonna lose them and I'm afraid my baby's gonna find them and swallow them, so. <laughs> haven't got them yet. This will do. But enough of that. First on the chopping block, we have da, 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 Princess Diaries, a classic. Now, if you don't know what Princess Diaries is, if you're not familiar with it, it is Anne Hathaway's breakout film movie role. I think it was her second film ever when I was looking at it. And I, hello, I grew up watching this a million times. I'm pretty sure my grandmother might have taken me to watch the very first one. And then after that, I was hooked. I watched it so many times, but I watched it through the lens of a what? 14 year old. I don't remember exactly how old I was when it came out. I guess I could look that up, but I don't want to math right now. But a quick little rundown of the movie. Sorry, spoiler, but if you haven't seen it now, I don't know what to tell you. Basically, she is a high schooler that finds out that she is a princess, but she's like the not so popular girl, you know? She's like a little bit frumpy as they like to come and kind of make her out to be. And she needs that whole like princess makeover to really become a princess, not only on the outside, but like on the inside and the, you know, etiquette classes and all of that stuff. But the makeover scene is obviously transformative and da 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 and stuff, but it's it's kind of funny. So we're gonna be popping this on. Let's go. Let's start. Okay. Ooh, da da da. Oh wow, he's got the tools. And look at hey, do you see that product placement right there? NARS. Hmm, you see that? They pay good money for that. And then also Clinique, you see on the background? Yeah. So what is he doing first? Okay, he's grabbing the hairbrush and he is going to be combing and brushing out her dry curls. Okay. Rule number one, you don't try to br dry brush these curls. And it's so dramatic. I mean, come on, he's holding her head. It's not going to be that bad. And then, yep, he breaks his brush, but really whose fault is it? Whose fault is it that the brush is broken? The stylist or the girl with the curly hair? It's the stylist's fault. He shouldn't have been doing that. Starting at the top, brushing down. No, you got to wet that. Go take her to the shampoo bowl. Come on. Oh, spinning around again. Ooh. Okay. So they're going over to the glasses. They're being very judgy about glass. You know, like people need to see glasses are not that big of a deal. Okay. You're gonna break the glasses. Okay. Okay, so if you missed that, because I'm talking too much, she said that she has contact lenses, but she doesn't really wear them. And then he breaks her glasses and said, now you do. Yeah, the thing is, um, I know a lot of contact wearers in my life. You need both because there's not always a time and place to wear your contact lenses, especially when you're like after you get out of the shower, you're not gonna go pop your contact lenses back in. You just wanna wear your glasses, go to bed, and then take your glasses off, you know? So that's not cool. Glasses are expensive, very dramatic. Uh, uh, what a performance. Okay, here we go to the eyebrows. Okay, look at the eyebrows. You see, they're all, I could see that they're penciled, completely penciled in. If Brooke Shields married the Groucho Marx, that child would have your eyebrows. I 
wouldn't take that as a negative thing that her eyebrows resemble Brooke Shields eyebrows, who is like known for her big, beautiful brows as a famous actress. Hello, this is so funny, you know, that you could tell this was back in the day when thin brows were, a, were the thing because now these eyebrows would barely be touched. They just do a little light trimming, little light plucking, shape them up and head out the door. Lots of spinning of the chairs. Cucumbers on the eyes, which while it actually feels good, doesn't actually do nothing. Oh, see, that's what he's saying. It feels really cooling though. It's really nice. It does a temporary depuffing. Okay, doing her nails and stuff. That's all good. More spinning of the chairs. <laughs> Lots of spinning of the chairs. They made it really magical. Here she is in her before shots, okay? Really, what's wrong with it? She's wearing glasses. Her eyebrows could use a little shaping and she has big curly hair. There's nothing wrong wrong with her big curly hair. If you want to take out a little bit of the frizz, you just put a little curl cream in the hair. But what do they do? No, they don't leave it that. They don't enhance her natural curl. Oh, wow, they straightened her hair and put some shadow on her. <laughs> okay, yeah, so she looks uncomfortable and rightfully so. So in my opinion, I really wish that they took her natural curls and just showed her how to properly style them for her curl pattern because her curls are beautiful. And they do this Anne Hathaway all the time. This isn't the only makeover show that she has been on, makeover movie that they've, they've put her in. And yeah, her hair, I mean, even though it's straightened, I honestly think that they could have done a better job with that blowout. It still looks a little chaotic and messy. So if you're gonna do it, do the thing. You know what I mean? I guess they had to make it dramatic. Could go from curl to straight, wow. Next up, we got She's All That, another classic film right there. <laughs> that probably does definitely doesn't stand the test of time. But I watched this movie a million times over, okay? Starring Freddie Prince Jr., him and his buddies, which is Paul Walker, all oh, rest in peace. They have a little bet going on that Freddie Prince Jr. can't make any girl the prom queen. And he's like, yes, I can. And they're like, no, you can't. So out of all the girls that they see on in the quad at that moment in time, they pick Lanny because, oh my goodness, she's just so, ugh. She got a low ponytail and she's got glasses and there's no way you can and turn her into the prom queen, but he's like, I can do it. And so cut to the scene where his sister, his kid's sister is, uh, looks like she's probably maybe a freshman in high school. Cause I think she goes to the dance later. She's going to give the makeover, not a stylist. No, no, no. They're going to entrust the, this makeover in the hands of his sister. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Okay. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Hang on. I forgot her hair. It's so funny in some of the scenes before the makeover, you can see Lanny, they just put hair extensions into the actress's hair and you can see it. And she already has the cut and maybe they had to reshoot things, some scenes, I don't know, but it looks like she already has the cut. They just stuck in some long extensions, didn't really blend them that much. And was like, oh, wow, look at her. She's so bad. She needs a makeover. She has just long hair and a ponytail. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Anyways, let's go. You could tell that's extensions right there. You could totally tell. It's like a mushroom and then pfft. doesn't compliment her face shape. What kind of idea? You'd really have to trust me. I wouldn't trust her. I wouldn't because like, you're going to trust this little, little, what? How old's a freshman? Like 13, 13 year old to suddenly know how to cut like a cute bob with what? What? My mom's kitchen scissors that are laying around, like a rusty pair of kitchen scissors that like cut wrapping paper and produce and like everything. Those are going to be so dull and that haircut would just not come out good because they don't know what they're doing. This is just, it's not realistic, but Hollywood baby, Hollywood magic. Okay. So this isn't like as a dramatic scene of uh, getting ready. They like to really leave you the suspense, like you have to trust her. Is it gonna work out? And we know it is gonna because it was just glasses and long hair and a ponytail. Lainey, Lainey Lanny, they honestly, they say it so many different ways. Both, no, both those ways throughout the whole movie. Lainey, Lanny, Lanny, Lanny. I can't tell, was that he laughing or like sighing or just like a mix? Oh, those shoes. Mm, those are some cute shoes. Those shoes definitely came back in style and I love it. And that dress. Okay, hang on a second. That dress. 
I'm obsessed with that. That neckline and the ruching, I think it is so flattering. Like, hello, beautiful choice for a dress, I think. I just think she just wore that dress. She wore it good until that jerk poured wine down her dress. Spoiler alert. Yeah, but anyways, let's look at the makeover. Mr. Freddy is so shocked. Look at how pretty she looks. I think she looked beautiful before though too. All they did, and I'm appreciating that they did this, is they just like kind of enhanced her natural look a little bit. They went very light on the makeup because she didn't need anything. Nobody needs anything. But like, come on, just put a little bit of glowiness on her skin, a little lip tint to bring out her natural lip shape and a little bit of shadow. Maybe, I don't I think I don't even think she shaped her brows. I think that's exactly how her brows looked before. And I think that that is nice that they didn't go full dramatic drama, red lip, black liner, big lashes. I mean, that wasn't really the style back then, but I appreciate the just subtlety of the makeup look. I think that they did a spot on job with that. And that girl, would have a, a job in the beauty world for sure. And she even cut her hair with the rusty kitchen scissors. I'm not, it's not that she did reuse rusty kitchen scissors, but come on. Where did she get contacts though? Did she bring them? Did she have them on hand? Oh, could she not see? Is that why she falls? Is that why she falls? Cause you took out her only way of seeing? <sighs> that's kind of rude. People need to see. Deborah, I don't know if that's her name. Classic movie, that song, kiss me. Oh, it just reminds me of simpler times. Okay, you know what I haven't seen? He's all that, and I heard it was absolutely terrible. So let's watch it. Let's blind react to the he's all that makeover scene. There has to have one. And I think the premise of he's all that is literally the same as she's all that, but it's opposite gender roles. So they have to give the guy the makeover. And the guy that plays the guy <laughs> in the movie is I think a good looking kid. Like, I don't, I don't think of him as like, I already, I see him as the Cobra Kai kid. He's in the movie, he's in the show, Co Cobra, Co Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai, which is Karate Kids like spinoff series on Netflix. It's really good, it's really funny. But he's the like bad boy, like, good looking bad boy kid in that. And did they, can they do anything with that? Let's see. Okay, so here we go, makeover scene. He has his long hair just like he does in, in Cobra Kai. Oh, so his kid sister hazing him. Classic. What is she going to do? And she's going to say, trust me too. So she's shaving his face. Okay. With a, a female facial razor. I mean, I'm pretty sure he could shave his own face, but they want the drama. What is this? What is happening? Okay, why is she playing with his hair? Is she gonna... Sh okay, she... What is she cutting with? Plastic pink scissors? Barbie doll scissors? She cut a lot. He kind of needs his long hair, huh? That's like his look. He's like jawline and his long hair. That's like his look. She looks familiar. Is she like a TikToker or something? I'm not on the up and up. Oh my gosh, they put on a suit and slicked back his hair. Oh, wow, it's just like, what a transformation. Yeah, <laughs> you shaved his face. The haircut, I guess, came out fine. I guess they didn't have a bad go at that, but they slicked back his hair, so we don't really know. And uh, wasn't necessary. I guess they took off, I guess they took off some good length. What if they put it in a ponytail? What if there's like a little ponytail hidden back there? That'd be funny. But yeah, okay, they put it in a suit. Which is pretty much the same kind of makeover that they did for Lanny, but as a boy, put him in a cute outfit, mess with her hair a little bit, good to go. And she's TikToking, so she must be a TikToker. That's so weird. Oh, I just looked up a picture of his before. Okay, so he had a beanie. He had a beanie and long hair. Oh, wow, well, this is such a transformation. Ugh. Okay, next up, let's do the Clueless makeover, which in Clueless, Brittany Murphy's character is getting a little makeover. And I really like this one. So we'll talk about it because I remember it clearly, but let's react to it years later. So here's Brittany Murphy which I love and I miss. Oh, Hollywood really is missing a gem with her, by the way. I love Brittany Murphy. She was so wonderful and I loved her movies. Oh, so sad. Well, like, I don't even know what needs to be made over. Like, she has the pretty red hair and the curls and she just looks very youthful and natural. I mean, she is youthful. She's little. Little baby, babe. Okay, so they're rinsing out red dye. Are they just change it a different shade of red? Or did they rinse out? Maybe she had like a, a red colorant in, like to make it more like intense red. Cause I think they made it more subtle. Okay, look at the, 
So they're putting some makeup on, but look at these rollers. Uh, please do not try this at home. That curl pattern would be crazy with the random rollers thrown in her hair and some rolled up cans. I get that it looks cute and fun and like silly girls, but like don't actually do that because it will not turn out how you think it's going to. Now let's go on. They are cutting a crop top for her, cutting it. Trying to bring her out of her shell, doing a little bit more makeup. Oh, I remember the first time I applied eyeliner. Oh, memories. Great shade of red on her lips. That's very complimentary to her natural skin tone. And they're teaching her. See, I like this. They're like teaching her how to do these things instead of like, we're just bringing to your stylist. You're going to do it and like have fun figuring that out. Oh, and there she is. She looks so cute. And she looked cute before. This is just like an enhancement. And I think that they, I really like what they chose to do in this makeover scene where they didn't just take a curly hair girl and straighten her hair out. And they didn't take somebody with straight hair and just made a curly, just opposite. I like that they took her natural, beautiful Brittany Murphy curls and they just enhanced it and hopefully showed her how to do it where it looks so pretty. It looks so good. I think that they did such a good job and she just looks like a better version of herself, you know? And I just think that that was definitely a choice and they made a good choice doing that because I didn't like, like I said, with Princess Diaries, how they had her curly hair and they just made it straight for the drama. I like the enhancing of the natural looks, especially when it comes to these teenage theme movies, you know, teenager theme movies. Okay, we got time for one more and this is a complete blind reaction because I have never seen Miss Congeniality. I know the premise of the movie. It's like she's a cop and she needs to go undercover for like a Miss Universe pageant. So they need to like get her out and like to that, you know, Miss Universe pageant queen style. And she's more like of a tomboy, but I don't actually know what the before and after look like. I mean, it's freaking Sandra Bullock. Come on. It's going to be kind of the same theme. I think we've seen this whole time. It's just another beautiful actress and they try to like bring her down a notch and then be like, wow, look at it. Oh, dramatic. Okay. Private jet. That's nice. Oh yeah. Dude, that's me on like any given day when I'm not filming. She literally just looks like me. Pajama pants, it looks like, and a big old sweater. Oh wow, they're going the whole pageant queen mile. They're doing teeth. Are they cleaning her teeth or are they actually doing something to her teeth? Is this extreme makeover? Did they sign her up for plastic surgery? What's happening? Why are they trying to do her hair and teeth at the same time? That just sounds like just torture. Why is there so much happening? Are they doing this in an airplane hangar? Why is there like a tanning bed and like a whole entourage? I guess that, I guess that's kind of how Miss Universe stuff is. They're just doing it all in one instead of spacing it out over a few weeks. That's a lot to go through. They are waxing her knuckle hair. That's a little much. I guess this is for pageants. This is different. This is the extreme version. Yeah. That looks like me in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, bikini wax. I thought she had to go to the bathroom. I thought she had to go to the loo. Yeah, that's me on a Friday night. Mm -hmm. That's rude. Celery? Really? Let's not do that, okay? Let's not. She just needs to go undercover for a little bit. Does she need to win or something? You know what she should be going undercover and doing? Smashing beauty standards and toxic diet culture. What is this foil job, okay? What is that? I think I did a better job on my first time ever foiling a doll head in beauty school in 2006 than I am seeing on her head right now. That is not good. That looks like bleach will be bleeding all over the other strands. This looks like a mess. Why is her hair so fluffed up like that. What did, why did they do that? Why are they doing the things that they do? And this is like the third face mask I've seen on her. That's unnecessary, unnecessary. For com comedic purposes, it is funny. My IQ just dropped 10 points. Don't say that, Sandra. Your IQ doesn't drop just because you wanna have some beauty products on you. That's a bit dramatic. Do makeup if you want, don't if you don't want, you know? But don't insult somebody either way whether they want to go without or with. Okay, here's the dramatic reveal. Is everybody ready? Wow. And she suddenly knows how to walk the runway in heels, which, did she get lessons? Cause that's hard. That's a lot of people that she had working on her. Look at that dress, girl, get it girl. This is honestly, I relate to this in a way that like her before and after is me every day. <laughs> okay, me when I drop off my daughter at school and then me when I go to pick her up. Well, except I'm not wearing the dress, but my hair and makeup's done. Where are the highlights? 
it probably didn't go well because their foil placement was so bad that it came out bad and they just had to re-dye it. And so what did they do? Just straightened her hair. They really didn't do much when you think about it. She doesn't even look that tan. So they really just did a smoky eye and <laughs> sent her out the door. Put a smoky eye on her and a little tight dress and heels and then sent her out the door. Maybe all those people were there to help train her to walk in heels because it is a challenge, okay? Especially when you're going on asphalt that is a little bumpy. And did she have to do, I haven't seen the movie, did she have to do all the like, oh, and she fell. <laughs> Never mind. Well, that's a good, hey, good save, girl, good save. These makeovers were extremely subtle. They just make it all drama and funny. It's, you know, comedy. They make it all dramatic and comedy because it's entertaining. But really, at the end of the day, these girls don't need anything. I mean, they don't have to do anything at all. Nobody has to do anything at all. You do what you want to do. Some days I want to wear crazy blue eyeshadow and wing everything out and just do over the top. And other days I'm just rocking my messy bun, no makeup, whatever. And you know what? You do you, you have fun with it. What did you guys think of these makeovers though? Did you think that they were dramatic? <gasps> and so, wow, oh my gosh. Like I wanna see some real makeovers over here. Some real, real ones. Mm, because this is funny. Like I said, they knew what actress they wanted to do it and then they just kind of like threw glasses on them. Change their hair up a little bit. And then we're like, wow, we washed your hair, look it. Okay, so I think that's all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed this reacting video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. And go ahead and comment down below if there are any iconic movie makeover scenes that you would like me to react to, because I know that there's a lot out there and sometimes I can't remember all of them, so I gotta do some digging. But this was a lot of fun, I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at AshleyLX if you want some extended content. And go out there and have a great freaking awesome wonderful happy day you beautiful button okay i'll see you next time bye